Hello fellow developers, hope you are having a great day, this is Andrew Tokin and today's episode is gonna be about closures. So first, what is closure? In Swift, closures are self-contained blocks of code that can be assigned to variables, passed as an argument to a function and returned from functions. They are similar to anonymous functions or lambda expression in other programming languages. These are several types of closures in Swift, each with its own syntax and use cases. First, let's start from closure expressions. These are the most common types of closures, often used for short inline functions. Expressions usually could be shortened and sometimes very drastically. Here's the example of the same closure, but with a shorter syntax. As you can see, all four closures doing the same math calculation, but the last one has the much shorter syntax. Next, let's go to trailing closures. Trailing closures are used when a closure is the last argument to a function. They can be placed outside of the function parentheses for cleaner syntax. For instance, sorting method with a trailing closure condition. Next, capture values. Closures can capture and store references to variables and constants from the surrounding context in which they are defined. For example, nested function can store the reference to the variable from out of its scope. Next stop is auto closures. An auto closure is a closure that is automatically created to wrap an expression passed as an argument to a function. They are useful when you want to delay the evaluation of an expression until it's actually needed. For more information about auto closure, there is a dedicated video on the channel. And the last two types are escaping and non-escaping closures. So let's start from escaping closures. An escaping closure is a closure that is allowed to outlive the function it was passed to. This is common when the closure is stored in a variable or passed to an asynchronous operation. For example, we use escaping closures for fetching data from API because it is an asynchronous operation. By default, closures are non-escaping, meaning they are executed within the function and cannot be used outside the function scope. If you try running this code in the console, you will see that first we are getting a print statement from non-escaping closure, and after that we are getting an escaping closure answer because it's asynchronous and we need to wait some time for the response from the API. So this is it with the closure types. If you find this video useful, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel if you didn't do it yet, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next episode. Goodbye.